All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put a movie or a sequence images onto a surface and render it out. Uh, what you want to do is first, we've got some uh, images here. Uh, these are rendered out from Maya. Uh, these are IFFs, they can be JPEGs. If you have Premiere, um, especially Final Cut Pro, if you open up the movie, you can actually open up QuickTime and then save as, and there is a sequence. If you've got Final Cut Pro, and then if you're doing After Effects or Premiere, I think there's an export, and you can export to a sequence. You'll need to do that. It'll be a numeric uh, sequence like this, 1 through 200 or 2,000, uh, whatever your, your video is. So I'm just going to open up uh, my FChat to show you what the sequence looks like. Uh, we're going to open up, and uh, we're going to go to Test. All right. And what this what F is is in my eyes is a way of uh, taking all those sequences and bundling them together. All right. <laughs> so the point is, whatever video you have, you want to export into a sequence of JPEGs, IFFs, uh, private TIFFs, or probably, probably the best thing is JPEGs. All right. So we've got that. So let's go ahead and create a mesh. Now this can be a a a character and uh, you will have to put on a second layer onto it if it's a character or if you if you're savvy you, you can put your your sequences on your images in Photoshop Photoshop and make sequences of your background also it's a little bit uh, complicated so probably the best thing is to watch my other tutorial that shows you how to add a second layer onto your surface and this is what it's going to be so let's go ahead and create a polygon Plane. Again, this isn't your character or a complex form, but you can see uh, the process. All right, so let's go ahead and select it. I'm in rendering right now, lighting and shading. I want to assign a blend, and I'm just going to add a color file. Go to my folder, test. What I want to do is go ahead and select them all, all at once. Shift, hit open, and then make sure image sequence is on. And we've got up to 53 here, so you can see when I scroll through that it's working. So to see if it's working, we're going to go to the very first one and render a flat image. So you can see it's flat. And then we're going to go all the way to the end. You can see it's a three-quarter view, and it's three-quarter view. So this is a pretty good render. So this is better than doing a dot .mov. Dot .mov was having the striations, and also you can get a better image quality with this. Uh, Good luck.